Hello, my name is Amber Darby. This video is for Liberty University course on historical professions and is on the continuation of our preferred topic for the research plan. My preferred topic is on German resistance during World War II and I have chosen this topic because located in the National Archives is a photo of anti-Nazi German women whose bones were still inside the crematoriums of a liberated concentration camp. And the title of the photo alone has broken down so many barriers and stereotypes against Germans um, during this time. And it also shows how there were signs of anti-Nazi German resistance um, and how it took on different shapes and forms even though it was not just one big group. And so the first source that I analyzed was a newspaper article from the New York Times um, called Anti-Nazi Germans Plant Organization in Sweden. In this article, there was a group of anti-Nazi Germans, um, which included former members of the Reichstag, um, that came together with the goal to create a Swedish branch of the Free German Committee. Um, this committee uh, originally started in Moscow, with, and it was a national peace group um, that stated that there were inhabitants in Germany, some even in Berlin, that were coming together to stand up against Hitler. A second source that I analyzed was the documentary um, from BBC Worldwide. It was called The Attempt to Assassinate Hitler. Now, although there were members that were more against Hitler than against the regime, there were members of the Reichstag that uh, resisted against Hitler by planting a bomb inside uh, one of Hitler's hideouts during a meeting on July 14, 1944. This source is important because the science of resistance was coming in all shapes and forms. Not only that, though, it also showed Hitler's cruelty towards the people as um, innocent Germans, many uh, many innocent Germans, um, were put on trial and executed for the assassination attempt. Some were executed as far as April of 1945. The final source that was analyzed was the documentary, another documentary on BBC Worldwide um, called The Man Who Stood Up to Hitler. This documentary was about Klaus uh, Schrenk von Stuffenberg. I apologize if I mispronounced the name. Um, this was the man who actually placed the bomb in the meeting where Hitler was supposed to have been assassinated in July of 1944. After he had been damaged and lost an eye and an arm in battle, uh, Stuffenberg decided that the war had gone on long enough and that Hitler, this self-proclaimed God um, had to be stopped once and for all. And this was a source was also important because had he succeeded, um, Hitler probably would have been deceased sooner and the war would have come to what may have been a quicker end. Thank you.